<laughs> it's big tungus. I don't need to be doing any of this. Just Jim the <laughs> Jim the Great. Oh, my son's gay. And who am I at war with? Oh! Oh! Stop right there, criminal scum! You look like you're part of the 80% of people who aren't subscribed to this channel, but uh... Be cool if you were. Right, so the year is 1300, so you might be wondering, why is EU4 in the title? Well, firstly, clickbait. Secondly, I did try a mod where it was 1444, and uh, here's how that went. Time doesn't seem to be progressing, which is, uh, you know, usually not a good sign. Uh, it's now not letting me leave the game, so there's the distinct possibility that it's not the game that's stuck in time, but me. So uh, yeah, now we're here, and we're going to be playing as the, uh, the Golden Horde. Because hordes are fun, I think. Now, this mod's a lot more comprehensive. You've got ducats in the corner and stuff, and I don't know what's going on, and I'm not good at Hoi 4 at the best of times. But I'm hoping that my E4 skills translate over, so we'll see. First things first, we are definitely going to be going down this nomad system. That's adorable. Hooligans are forever friends. Ah, 66,000. 1.2 million men. Oh, this is going to be fun. Workshops. Well, oh, okay, this is, this is, this is getting a bit beyond me now. Research slot. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. Dynastic ties? Okay. Alright. Now now we're getting a bit. This is this is complex. I'm, I'm scared. Secondary laws? Economy? Oh my god, my brain hurts. I'm just gonna forget about that and pretend it doesn't exist. I could try to find a wife. It only cost me ten ducats. Nice. <laughs> what does that mean? Alright, let's do it. Installation. Oh, we're Muslim. Last one, it says. That's slightly more useful. And not for the blast reason. All right, I'm not having that. White horde. I, mm, I don't know if we can... Are we allowed to say that? <laughs> it's big tungus. <laughs> That's such a stupid joke. The character portrait looks... Oh, look at this guy, Malik the Fifth. Look at him. He loves it. Oh, my son's gay. Okay, they have a lot more troops. They've got pikemen, which historically are quite good against cavalry. Large scale fire. Is this because my son's gay? All right. Free army declared war in France. Where... Oh, they're in the middle. Oh, that's not good. Oh, yeah. Well, that didn't last long, did it? Where war? Nice. So, wait, what's this? So I'm going to click it. What happened? Oh! Oh! I have a huge army now. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. <laughs> I don't need to be doing any of this. Jim the... <laughs> Jim the Great. A famous Mongol. <laughs> Jim the Great. Go on, man. <laughs> Go on, Jim. So I want to see how my home country, Tunisia, is doing. Uh, as you can tell, we're on the Mediterranean. So why we have a random dude called Vitold the Great, who is... I, I mean, I, I, you don't look very Mediterranean to me. Right, I want Jim in, in control of the entire army. That's what I want. A bass mate has been fired. Jim the Great is here. Oh, look at this encirclement. I should put this on the Reddit. <laughs> what a fighter wife. No divisions basic training. That's probably because we have a deficit of 40,000 swords. All right, how close they to pitch it? Well, they're that close to pitch it, apparently. Wonderful. Support the miners. Yeah, we're always going to support miners. Not like ER, not. M oh, wow. Okay, the Delhi Sultanate's going a bit mad. <laughs> England's formed Britain a bit early. Eduard. That's a high spell, Edward. Hey, hey, Tunisia did something. Don't lose. Warwick is a puppet mark. So you did nothing, Tunisia. I'm right, just going to try and carve a path through Western Europe, basically. Easy encirclements. Look at that. Beautiful. Easily the best Hoi Forward Circuit you've ever seen. Look at that. Yeah, I, I lost 130 men in that one, I think. This is a, a net gain. Right. Let us see if we can take out the Hungarians. I think for this one, we are going to need to pull in the boys. <laughs> Welcome, boys. Jim the Great has plans for you. And he's done. Take all states. Take all states. Don't mind if I do. Maybe I'm expanding too fast. I feel like I'm expanding too fast. All right, I'm going to do something a bit bold here. Moldova's back. This is good because they just give me swords each time I, I, I seize their... It's like they gather the swords up for me and then I crush their rebellion and then they just give them over. They just gave me 11,000 swords. I really needed. Let's go to war with the Bohemians. They are guaranteed by Austria. That's fine. We've got the boys! I wonder. Can I just sort of sneak past Poland? Then Marcus joined Mecklenburg as our enemy. And who am I at war with? Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a little... Okay. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh no, the Hans League are on my side. Against the Liege Coalition and just no faction, which is, for some reason, everyone? Okay, this isn't good. This is very bad. This is mildly disastrous. 
All right, let's see if we just rush around them. That's sort of the strategy that's been working for me so far. All right, I'm actually gonna need to focus with this one. It sucks because I'm not very good at this goddamn game. Okay, we are not doing as much damage as we were before. I can only assume that's because I have a distinct lack of, uh, oh my god. Oh, and everyone is a major. So I can't just rush this war, okay. 33%. Let's just see if we can rush uh, these victory points. All right, Poland's capitulated. They give us a bit more equipment to work with. <laughs> this is March with cavalry through Europe, I suppose. I could never go wrong. I think I've been sucking a bunch of troops here, and by a bunch I mean like six. Oh man. My force is so confusing. Okay, who else am I at war with? Oh, right, yeah, Western Europe. Gotcha. Okay. Now, would you believe me if I said I didn't actually mean to declare war against the entire world? Ah, oh, for God. To... Ah. Oh, please, just go. All right, these guys are capitulated. Did I just win? I won something. I'm still at war with. Well, everyone, but I, 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 I beat Bohemia. The front's a split, and and my puny little mind can't can't take that. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Like Kostriznad Tron. I recognize Tron. <laughs> a great movie. All right, I'm gonna pre-write my jokes in future because I'm not happy with that one. Okay, this is this is ridiculous. I'm now getting enough equipment to sort of satisfy my massive equipment deficit by just taking out nations. And using their equipment. Austria is gone. Look at this! I'm doing it! You could deal with all these little poles. And I don't mean that in a disparaging remark. You lads are one of our highly subscribed guys. Just look away. Alright? The Polish look away. What I'm doing here is a service. I'm cleaning up the HRE. Which, if you think about it, I'm the I'm the good guy here. Lawrence is gone. This is amazing. That's actually probably the most fun I've ever had in uh, in Hoi 4. I just I still don't understand how I got how how I'm at war with all these people. I don't know. I don't know what I did. Death of the ruler. Talk to no! We're gonna charge now. Emmanuel the Braveheart? Oh, that's so much better. He's so much cooler. I'm not sure what I could do with Denmark now. To be honest. Ah, we've taken Rome. Wonderful. Bantu and the Kingdom of Naples are in the same European Defense League faction. I mean. Fair play. <laughs> Looking out for the little guy. I want to know how, how the hell Denmark's like holding on. Like, I've got their entire arm. Like their entire nation is just gone. Am I at war with the Burgundians? Yeah, of course I am. All right. So in order to take out Denmark, I've got to get through <laughs> the Teutons and everyone else that's with them. All right. Sure. The White Horde declared war on me. Uh, that's not something I was prepared for. The Byzantines are stomping out the Ottomans early. I see. Quite a smart thing to do, I think. All right, so we're going to quickly kill the French. And then run over to the White Horde and, and take them out. Um. Um. Uh. I don't remember colonizing America in 1300. Why do I have land here? <laughs> why? Why? Why am I the first ones in the New World? By swords, find a wife. I still have never found a wife. That's all I ever wanted. That's all. I, that's why this conquest is for. You know, I just, just trying to find a wife. Tighten our belts or foreign aggression. I think I've sort of decided for myself here. I've got a deficit of two hundred thousand swords. More desertions. Well, I mean, my manpower is two point two million. I think I'll be fine. Oh my god, I could finally take Denmark. Jesus Christ, it's been an ordeal. Oh my god, it finally happened. Is that it? Oh my god, it's no more war. Oh my god! Oh my god, we're at peace! I don't believe it! Oh my god! That took so long! All I wanted to do was fight Bohemia and end up having to fight the entirety of Western Europe! I mean, a lot of it was optional, but still! Oh, so we've got 10k in the bank. Uh, our manpower has only gone up. Um, it's been a hell of a two years for the Golden Horde, really. Since 1300, we've conquered most people, I'd say, in the, uh, in the Western world. As well as getting a foothold in Canada, which I, I still don't know... What the hell is up with that? Or how I did it? <laughs> Bob the Miracle Worker, the leader of the Amazonian tribes. So yeah, I mean, uh, it's a shame I didn't get to show off the colonization because I've, I've been told that's, I mean, look at this. That's insane. Like there's so much new stuff. I mean, that can happen. Apparently I, I've just colonized this area. But it's, what, it's an amazing mod. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with it. But yeah, so something a little bit different. Hoi 4. Do let us know if uh, if you do like Hoi 4. 
or you like the sort of style of uh, a video i've just sort of basically copy and pasted my e4 mod stuff over into hoi4 um and i've having a lot of fun with the e4 stuff i've had a lot of fun with this hoi4 stuff so I'm, i mean i'm happy to continue it but yeah thank you guys for watching i'll uh i'll see you next time